Let's take it slow Where you go, I go to And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Right now we're in the middle of Tennessee driving back from Atlanta to Cleveland to see my family. Also hope you guys are happy to see Prudence again. It's our ride wilder, say hi. Say what's up, she's been really wild lately. I don't know why. Another thing, it takes a lot out of me to let Skylar drive my car. You know, one of my rules of thumb in this relationship is when I'm in the car, in my car, I'm driving my car. It's just, it's common sense to me. But she's insisted, she's begged and, and pleaded and everything to drive my car part of the way home. So I'm gonna take the risk and uh, we'll see you back in Cleveland. Let's go. It is the next morning guys, quick stop at the rest area on the way home. I stopped overnight at my girlfriend's family's house who live about two hours away from me. I just saw Amish people hop in a 2022 Jeep Wrangler. I'm not even joking. Is that like legal? What? It's legal obviously, but is that like against their culture or whatever they believe? I gotta read up on my Amish culture and what they believe in because last time I checked, they don't hop in Jeep Wranglers. All right, so let's go home. My dad and my little sister Emily have no idea that I'm coming home. My mom and my other sister Dana do. My dad is home right now. Emily is at school right now. So let's go home and surprise my dad. He should be very surprised because he has absolutely no idea. So I'll see you at home. Home sweet home. All right, let's go in. Oh shit, that was last year. Now I've done that. What's <laughs> up, so big fella? Jeez. Good to see you. Surprise, huh? <laughs> oh my god, David. You surprised? Yeah. Yeah, I drove all night. We left at like 1 o'clock yesterday. Skip stayed over at Skylar's house. Came back this morning. Mom knows, Dana knows, Emily does not. So I'm gonna surprise Emily later too. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Good to see you. Nice good to see you. you. <laughs> Always a good time seeing my family, especially surprising them. I've surprised them a number of times. I have not surprised my dad before yet, so it's great that he was on the other side of things right now. But well, you see this white stuff on the ground here? That is called snow, if you haven't seen it before. And that is the reason I do not live here anymore because I hate snow. But seriously, the older you get, the less communication daily you have with your parents, the less you see them. So please check in as much as you possibly can with them. They really will appreciate that the last thing you want to do when you move out like i did about a year and a half ago is lose touch with them and fortunately i have not done that but you know sometimes i go a long time without talking to them and i feel better about that so definitely you want to talk to them go see them as much as possible and when you do see them treat them take them out have some fun with them right now i'm going to give my mom some lunch on her lunch break at work because she deserves it so i'll see you there I'm chilling at Emily's school right now, gonna pick her up. Usually my dad picks her up from school, but I'm gonna pick her up today to surprise her. So uh, she has no idea either, so she should be pretty, pretty shocked. What? How are you? Oh my God. Hey, that's not your sweatshirt. I know it's a boy sweatshirt. <laughs> Hey, get rid of that right now. Stop. How was school? You excited? It was good. You surprised was, to see me? I was on a field trip. What the heck? Did you see you, Emily? So that's an ugly sweatshirt. I know Stop. it's not yours. How was school? Good. Good? Any boys hitting you or no? No. Good. Because I have spies all the time. <laughs> Everywhere we go, I spy the people watching. Just be aware. So you were surprised. I surprised dad as well. I surprised dad was coming out of the bathroom. When I came home. He had no idea. He was stunned. Yeah, I got on video too. You were in the house and he came I out. was in the house. I like, got home at like 10, 10 a.m. this morning or something. He was stunned. So, uh, got her, baby. So check it out. This neighbor right here, and hopefully he can't hear me filming right now. He lives in this house right here behind our backyard. I guess he just got a new dog, and apparently it's untrained or too big or too loud or something. So because of that, he needs to put up a fence for his yard. But the thing is, he owns these lines of trees right here. All of these trees are technically his. So to cover his entire yard with the fence, the fence needs to go on this side of the trees, AKA in our yard right here. And it's just really freaking annoying because neither us nor our neighbor to the sides like fences. Are you team fence or are you team no fence in a backyard? I personally don't like a fence in a backyard. I like the freedom. I like the openness you get. I like the open layout. It just seems more inviting and less closed off than if you were to have a fence toilet 
wrapped around your yard and i'm not saying i'm not gonna vandalize the fence because that would be illegal i'm not trying to go to jail but if me and some buddies start kicking around a soccer ball in our backyard and accidentally hits his fence and breaks off a piece of it not my problem. All right, let's go hit up the old stomping grounds with my dude, Braden. We used to work out together all the time. When I was living here, he lives right around the corner, so he'd always pick me up in his car, and then we'd whip around around the corner to the LA Fitness, which is now called East Sporta. So let's run back time. We got a back and a bicep day to day. So let's get into sweet workout. So I've essentially had the same haircuts for half a decade, a long time. Like I get the sides always short and tight, same with the back. The front I push back and over and the back I push forward with a piece of it hanging over the side of my head. And right now it is time to change it up. I'm about to go get a haircut right now and I'm gonna come out a totally different person finally. So uh, check it out, hold on, there's a little dirt on my screen. First of all, let me get that. There we go, good as new, something totally different I have never gotten before, just kidding, the exact same haircut I've been getting for the last couple years. I really want to change it though, I've thought about even growing it out really long and then getting it curled to have that style. I really strongly considered getting a buzz cut, just starting all over, maybe getting like a taper fade on the sides and on the back. I want to change it soon and I plan to do that, so if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. But for now, we are still rocking the same fresh style. And with that being said, I'm freaking starving, let's go eat. Holy crap. I cannot wait to get back to Georgia because it is like 25 plus wind right now. Mom, go ahead, take the first sip of your beer. What you got there? Miller Lite? Miller Lite. Classic. What do you, what do you give it? <laughs> yeah, out of 10. 8 out of 10? Okay. Yeah, Miller Lite's not my favorite, but tonight we have a classic What's Sam that? Adams Winter Lager. My favorite. One of my favorites. <laughs> Would you like me to rate my water What's so with lemon? Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> You're laughing at me. 8.75 out of 10. Danny, you haven't been on the video yet. Say hi. Hi. Where do you go to school? Miami University. What are you majoring in? Public administration. You want to sip on my beer? No. Too bad. Question of the day. Girls, what's my favorite food ever? Chicken. Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Chicken. What kind of chicken sandwich? Grilled chicken. Damn right. Grilled freaking chicken sandwich, baby. Let's go. Mmm. <laughs> That's so funny. They're always laughing when I'm filming, making fun of me. This video is going up on the Monday before Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving from me and my family to you and yours. Please remember the true meaning. Be very grateful for everything that you have, especially all the small things, not just the one day of Thanksgiving year. You should be grateful every single day you wake up and you breathe the fresh air and you have a roof over your head and food on the table and water to drink. You should be very, very grateful for everything that you have. And the older I get, the more grateful I become and the more I mature and develop and go about life by myself and just trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing, the more I realize how truly blessed Blessed I am. I have an amazing family. They're so loving. I have amazing friends. I have a good job. I'm fit. I'm healthy. I have the ability to travel around to a bunch of different places and not many people have that luxury. So I truly am grateful for everything that I have and I don't think I express it enough to my family, my friends, and me personally. I always want to remind myself that David, you are so set about everything compared to the average person always think about people below you never think about people above you because if you think about people who have more than you you're always going to be in a competition with them and you're never actually going to be happy so have a fantastic thanksgiving with your family eat a shit ton of turkey drink a ton of beer for football and celebrate it as however you please but if you made it to the very end of this video i appreciate you so much if you enjoyed it make sure you drop me a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel because i drop a new video every single monday that you don't want to miss see you next monday so